Hey there, Florian Schiffer here with a video about the short circuit calculation module of Panda Power. What are short circuit currents? They occur when you have, for example, a tree in a, near an overhead line and it falls on that overhead line. So you have a ground connection and then you have very, very high currents flowing through your system. So you have to design your system for that, for the thermal stress and the electrical stress you have. And um, this can be calculated according to an IC standard, which is 6909. Uh, and there's a Panda Power module we're going to look at uh, into now. Uh, but first, I'm going to explain some basics, what the values mean Panda Power calculates for you. You can skip that if you want to go directly into coding. So let's get started. Short circuit calculations are important when you want to design your system for a uh, high worst case. Let's say this line here, let's say it's an overhead line, has a fault, so a tree is falling, for example, on the three phases here, and then they are connected to the ground. So you have a very high current flowing through this line, and now you want to design your system for exactly this current. So how, how do you calculate this current? And how does it look like? So here's a little picture I drew, uh, which shows the the current here in red over time. So this is the short circuit cur current, how it changes over time. And the, this is ba ba practically this point here is near to a generator and this is far from a generator. So after some time, there's some steady state current, which is called IK. And at the beginning, there's this um, current here, which is called IK with the two lines at the top. Another important value is IP, which is the peak current. And so this is the highest current you have. And the, this current is especially important when you, for example, design your current breaker. So this is the current which the current breaker must be able to handle. Okay. So as I've said, those um, values here, IK with the two lines and IK, the short circuit current, the steady state current, um, are the most important ones. Those are calculated by Panda Power, but also IP is calculated here. So this peak current, and this is calculated according to the standard. So here, 6909, by multiplying IK with kappa and kappa, is a, a factor which depends on the r to x ratio of the line. So here the r to x ratio of the line or the, the system itself, uh, not just the line, but the system um, defines kappa. Okay, and then Panda Power can also calculate the thermal current. So this is about the heat or the stress on the line which you have depending on the time. So the time can be specified. How long will the short circuit current endure? So how long does it take to until the, sh the, the breaker opens? And also it depends on how the heat is distributed uh, according to those dissipation factors. Okay, so much for the basics. Those are the values which are being calculated by the short circuit module in Panda Power. If you want to find out more about this and need some more background information, go to our documentation. To find the documentation, just go to Panda Power Arc, click on documentation, go on the left side, short circuit, and there you find short circuit currents. And here you will find the information about the initial short circuit currents. So this IK here about the P current I've just mentioned and different methods, how to calculate kappa, for example, and also um, th something about the thermal short circuit current. Okay, so, so much about the documentation and the basics. What we're gonna do now is we have a look at the tutorial here from the interactive tutorials, which is the basic tutorial run a short circuit calculation according to IC 6909. Let's get into coding, but before that, uh, here, this is IK, this is IP, and this is the thermal sh 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 uh, current we're going to calculate uh, for this power system here. And, well, we start with this grid, so I'm just going to copy it, and then let's get into coding. 
as I've just shown, I just copy this network here. And to get started, you have to import Panda Power, and you also have to import um, the Panda Power short circuit module here. Okay, so if you have that, um, there's only one thing which differs from usual, and that is here for the external grid, you have to say what is the maximum power it can deliver in the maximum short circuit calculation case in the minimum power and also the minimum r to x ratio needed for the thermal calculation i've just shown and here the maximum r to x ratio everything else is just the same um, now if you want to calculate the short circuit you get the grid and then you just call sc.calc sc for this grid here and then you can print the tables which are not called as usual just res bus they're for example called res bus sc so if you do that the short circuit calculation starts and you see just here for the four buses in this grid here for the four buses you see four values and this is this ik uh, value so the short circuit um uh, value for the buses okay um, if you want to have now the thermal current, you just have to say ITH is true. And if you want to have the P current as well, you have to say IP is true. For the thermal current, you need to specify the time, which is by default um, set to 1. If we set it to 2, the thermal current will be higher. So now you get three tables, not just the ik value but also the peak value and the thermal value here if you check the results for the lines you will see that there are no results for the lines in there if you want to have them you have to set branch results to true then you get also the short circuit currents for the lines um, then you can for example this here is a ring network but when you close the switches in this network here so you say all switches here should be closed so um, you have a meshed grid then the topology changes and this is automatically being evalu uh, evaluated by the short circuit module so you have a mesh grid now and the calculation differs a little bit and uh, now i have a mistake here the calculation differs a little bit and now you have uh, an automatic topology detection um well so much for the basics there are uh, different things you can check out in the tutorial as well so you c there's a difference between a maximum short circuit current and a minimum short circuit current which can be calculated by saying uh, setting the case to min and max then you can take into account uh, motors um, synchronous asynchronous motors i've told you about the mesh grids and then there's one thing you can say set the fault impedance to a certain value so if you want to have to say that there's let's say something below the line which has an impedance or it's not just going to ground it's just some um, whatever uh, thing car or whatever below it then you have an impedance in the fault and then you can calculate the two-phase short circuit current by setting fault to two-phase and you can also calculate single phase short circuit calculation um, currents but then you have to find um, uh, some some more values to do this calculation but for the basics so much for it for today i hope you had fun with it so this was the tutorial about the short circuit calculation and from my perspective this was the last tutorial about the basics of panda power i try to keep every video short so between five and ten minutes maybe and sometimes i had some background information like in this video about how the short circuit works and what it is um what i don't know is what you actually want guys so if uh, do you want more basic stuff do you want more of those explanations like in this video or do you want more more advanced stuff more coding or what what is your wish usually i hate it when people say it at the end of each video but if you have some comments or some tips or something 
I'd be happy if you tell me because then I can do some more tutorials about it. So thank you very much for all the subscribers I have now at the moment. So there are 50 people. This is really cool. I love you. Um, but I'd like to teach and I'd like to help you. So if you have any more questions or something you want to have, please tell me and I try to do that. So thank you very much for watching as always and have a great day.